Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. In this video, I thought we would take a look at the negative prompt in Comfy UI. What I thought we'll do is I'm going to generate a small batch of images using a positive and negative prompt from an example I found on Civit AI. And we'll take a look at uh, the results of that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the negative prompt and then regenerate some more images and just see how much of a difference did the negative prompt really make. And then after that, just to finish off, I'm going to use the negative prompt to try and make a significant change to the image um, and see how that works. So uh, let's move on. So what I thought we'd do today is I'm going to try and generate an image similar to this one in Civit AI. I'll put a URL. I'll put the URL in my in my comments in in case you want to uh, have a go at this yourself. So basically, what I'm going to do. Sorry, this this very nice image here. This is by um, here we go. Artify AI is the author. Very nice image. Let's um, quickly look at the prompts. So I'm going to copy most of the prompt detail with a set with the exception there's a few other lauras here added that i'm not going to be using but i'm generally i'm going to be copying the positive prompt and the negative prompt and i'm going to be using the juggernaut excel model and also this extra laura that's been used which is the more artful laura and again i'll put links to 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 those in my in my description so it, this is so yeah so this is what we're going to try and produce something similar to this with the prompts so let's now just move across and have a look at my workflow so this is my workflow it's a basic text to image workflow the only additions i've made to it really is i've added a laura so that I could add this um, more artful Laura that we saw in the description. And um, as always, if you're using a Laura, the Laura sits between the checkpoint and the prompts. So um, what I'll do now is I'll just quickly run through the, the, the settings on this. So as I said earlier, using the Juggernaut XL checkpoint model, we're also using this um, artful Laura and I've set it to um, 0.5. We have the positive and negative prompts, which I've copied from the um, example in Civit AI, which I just shown you a moment ago. I'm using a latent size of 768 by 1024, and I'm going to run a batch of four images um, just for a bit of variety and um, Hopefully the best one of those is what I'll use as the thumbnail on my YouTube image. So moving across, looking at the case sampler, I've copied the seed number from the um, example in Civit AI. I'm using a fixed seed. I've copied the steps suggested, which was 35 steps and a CFG of 3.7. It recommended using EULA. Um, it didn't mention a scheduler, so I've just stuck to normal and denoise I've left at one. And um, that's about it. Oh, well, I've also added here, I just put a, a play sound node just to um, notify me when, when it's finished uh, running so I can go off and do something because it's just take a few minutes. So let's execute this and see what we get. So Okay, so we, we've got our four images here, I think, looking at them. Let's, sorry, let's just remind ourselves of um, what we were aiming for. We were aiming for something a bit similar to this. This is what we've got. I think, to be honest, this one here, if I just open this one up briefly, um, in terms of the overall look of the image, this is the closest one to it. However, let's go back my workflow so so this is what we got so not an exact match but i wasn't expecting that but it's it's of the ilk it's 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 almost there so what i want to do now is i'm going to remove all this detail 
that the author put in to their negative prompt, which has got such things as worse quality, grayscale, all that kind of stuff makes sense. Um, bad feet, etc., disfigured, bad anatomy, all these things. Let's just get rid of all these things that we wouldn't want on our image. Take that out. I'm not going to change the seed number or anything. I don't need to because because I've changed by changing the prompt, I by removing the negative prompt, I have changed the image enough significantly that it will generate fresh images. It will not just try to regenerate these. So let's um Q prompt again now without a negative prompt and see how different will the results be to to what we've just got in these four images i don't expect them to be the same but um i don't expect them to be significantly different either because um, i'm not an advocate of the negative prompt but let's see what happens so i'm going to q prompt and then i'll come back when uh, it's generated the four results so there we go we've got our four images and um, I would have to say that although I think that the colors are slightly more um, muted in, in this selection, there's absolutely no difference at all. They're very much of the style of the first set. Um, but um, let's just make a quick comparison. I'm going to open up Windows Explorer and let's look at all eight images that we've uh, generated. So let's, let's find this. Here we go. So let's just open these up. This is from the first batch. So this was with the positive and the negative prompt. And we generated four images. So one, two, three, four. Now without the negative prompt, one, two, three, four. And I would say there's hardly any difference there at all. Maybe some lack of detail in the background, but I don't think that's been affected by the, um, by the prompting. So in my opinion, for what it's worth, the negative prompt really has had no effect at all. So how I would use it is I would use negative prompt to try and remove things from your results if you didn't like what you're seeing. So in this example here, we've got these young ladies here. Most but not all are wearing some kind of space helmet in the style of this um, genre of, of images. So let's I'm going to try and remove the space helmets and, and see how that works by using the negative prompt. So all I'm going to put in the negative prompt is uh, let's go for helmet hat. What else could you call this this thing? Let's let's say headwear. So I'm going to put these three words in. Have I spell that headwear? I think that's that's a word. Yeah, well, let's leave that at that. And do one final generation of four more images and hopefully some of them will be without the um, helmet which is all I'm trying to achieve but um, I'm hoping it's, it's made the point that really all this stuff about bad eyes bad hands these models when they're being trained so if you take your juggernaut XL here when that model was being trained it wasn't being trained on images of people with bad eyes you know long necks, two heads and all this sort of stuff. This has come in for some other reasons. Something hasn't quite advanced far enough yet in AI that we're getting these issues. And just by saying bad, bad eyes, bad teeth or whatever, I, I can't believe that that would have any effect at all. The images are trained on images that are good. You know, they're using good portraits. Um, with good eyes and, and facial expressions and all that kind of stuff. The fact that we're getting something different coming up occasionally 
is not going to be, in my opinion, is not going to be changed by um, putting in such phrases as bad eyes, long necks, etc. I can't, I can't believe that. So that's why I don't do that. But anyway, that's 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 just my opinion based on no fact at all. So let's um, just finish off now. Let's generate a last set of image and see what we get. So so okay, we now got our final set of images, and I quite pleased there I think three out of the four of them maybe the last one not so much we've removed the helmets um but let's take a, a bit of a closer look let's just go back into Windows Explorer and look at the last four images okay yeah so the images themselves still seem to remain of the same style the the color match and everything um, I think works quite nice they're looking good that one there um, is is very similar to the uh, initial image I think holding the glass and the, the, the color style and everything is 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 great this one here I, I find it's interesting because what I think is happening here you see this circle in the background so this would have been originally in my opinion um, that was the glass helmet and now the AIs then try to turn that into something else by so it's pushed it into the background rather than over the subject's head sort of thing and so you can see what it's trying to do there so I think that's quite interesting and it's we've got some of the background features again there so that's quite nice and then finish off this one wasn't quite so successful so we've it's retained the um, the helmet so that one didn't work but um Overall, that is how I would use the negative prompts, you know, to remove stuff rather than to try and improve your images. Because I, I can't believe that any of those buzzwords work. But anyway, as I said before, that's just my humble opinion. So I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, that just leaves me to say um, thank you very much for your time. I do appreciate it. I hope you have found this useful. Have a good day. And... Goodbye.